Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can share RSS feeds to your WordPress website automatically. So guys, RSS or rich site summary is a kind of web feed by which user can get regular informations or updates from any website. So guys, here we are going to set up an automation by which we are going to connect the RSS section of any website with your WordPress website. And as and when there is a new feed in the RSS section, the same feed will be fetched and post with an image on your WordPress automatically. So it will make a proper connection and it will keep your users updated automatically, right? And we are going to set up this automation without any coding super easily. So let's begin. To set up this automation, guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on sign up free button. And you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. Then you can follow me through the video and you can set up your first automation right now. Okay. So you can sign, you can just sign up right now. After that, you have to sign in and you'll see the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So here I'm giving the name as RSS feeds to WordPress. All right, so after giving this name, just click on create button. And on this page, guys, you will find this, these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger. So here in this trigger section, you have to choose that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So guys, here I'm going to use a feature of Pabli Connect, which is called RSS by Pabli. So with the help of this feature, you can connect the RSS section of any website with Pabli Connect in the trigger. Okay, so the trigger event would be new item in feed. After that, click on connect button. And here you have to enter the feed URL. Okay, so to get this feed URL, you need to open the RSS section of any news websites. This is the RSS feed section of a news website and here you just have to copy the link of any RSS section. So I'm selecting environment here, environment section of RSS and here just right click and click on copy link address and you have to paste this link here in this uh, feed URL field like this. And after that, you have to click on save and send test request button and it this feature will fetch the latest RSS feed featured on the environment section of website. Okay. So guys, this is the response we have received. And here you can see we have received this title and it is showing what causes lake effect uh, snow like buffalo storms. And here is the link of uh, this uh, RSS section. So I'm going to open this link in front of you. All right. And here you can see this is the RSS feed and uh, it is showing this news and this article. Okay. Right. Now guys, I want to share this feed on my WordPress. And I also want to share this feed with an image. Okay. So to get this image, we are going to connect with pixels in this action step. So use this action step here. And from this choose app field, we are going to use pixel.com or pixel application. Okay. Which is a free stock image website. And here in the action event, we are going to use search for photos option. Then click on connect here. And from here, select add new connection and here it will ask for the authorization. So you need to request an API key here. Okay. And you have to paste the API key of pixels here. And you, you to do that, you just have to click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach the request page of pixels and you will find the key here. So you just have to copy this key and you have to paste this key here back and then click on save and you will be connected like this. Okay. So after getting connected, it will ask a uh, query. Query means what type of image you want to search in pixels like oceans, tigers, peers, etc. So you can give a one word query here or what you can do. You can just map this title that you have received here in this query field. Okay. 
So to map this title, you just have to click here and from this first tab, the first tab will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you all the data right here. And from here, map this title. Okay. You can select the orientation, you can select the image size, and you can provide the color as well. And uh, by clicking on save and send test request, you can search for photos inside pixels. So I'm clicking on save and send test request here. And this is the photo we have received here in this response section, you will receive this photo URL label. And here you can uh, see a photo. Let me show you that searched by Bexel. All right, so it is also showing the stormy weather photo of an icy mountain. Okay, so this image is related to the title we have placed here, you can see a lake effect snow like buffalo storm. So it has snow, it has lake effect, it has storm and this is a related photo create uh, searched inside Pexels. So it might not show you the exact photo, but it will show you the related results of the title. Okay. And we can use this image to share the news, share the RSS feed on WordPress. Now it is time to connect with WordPress to create a post. So just click here on this plus icon. And from the section step search for WordPress. Here it is. And the action event would be create a post. Okay, then click on connect. And from here select add new connection. And here it will ask for the credentials of your WordPress account, the username and the password and the base URL. So you will have your email or username on and password. So you have to fill in the things here. And for the base URL, you just have to open your WordPress account. And on the top search bar, you will find this URL. So let me just copy this and paste it here in this base URL field. And guys, here you have to remove these things like you can read here, do not include this WP admin or WP login.php. So I'm removing the extra things here and I'm going to keep it up to WP3 only. So this will be the base URL. And after filling all the details, you have to click on save and you will be connected with WordPress. And these connections that you make here with applications are saved in your account. So if you want to make the connection again with the same application inside the same workflow or in a different workflow, you can use the saved connections. So here, let me choose my saved connection of WordPress. So I'm selecting this existing connection option here. And here it will show you the list of all the existing connections or saved connections that you have. From here, you can choose anyone. And now I just have to click on save and we'll be connected again with WordPress. Okay, so you need not to fill in all the details every time you make the connection. So we are now connected and here it is asking which type of uh, thing you want to create a post or a page or media. So I'm selecting post here. And here it is asking for the post title. So I'm going to keep the post title same as the RSS feeds title. And I'm going to map it from this first step. Okay, so guys, when you map the labels like this, like I have mapped here, and like I have mapped here, what will happen in real time after setting up this automation, whenever there is a new feed in the RSS section, the labels here are going to be updated and new posts will be created in your WordPress according to your mapped labels, right? Here it is asking for the post content. So I'm going to map the content also from the first step. Here you will find this content snippet label, map this snippet label and you will find this content here, a short form of the content. Here you can provide a slug, excerpt, and you can select the status as you, if you want to direct, if you want to publish it directly, you can select publish option or you, if you want to make a draft. So guys, as I have told you that Pexels shows you the related results of the query you have filled here, not the exact results. So guys, if you want to review your created post, uh, and after that you want to publish it, you can select here, uh, you can select the status as draft. Okay, so it will create a draft first, then you can review it and publish it. Okay, so I'm selecting draft option here. And you, we have category IDs, we have tags. So you can use all these fields. And I'm right now I'm leaving these things blank. These are not compulsory things. And here in this featured media ID uh, field, you have to select the photo that you want to set on the post. So guys here, it will show you the list of already existing media files that you have in your WordPress account. 
So we do not want to use the existing media files from our account. We want to place the media from our uh, Pexel. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to toggle this map button to on off this feature media ID field, toggle this on and erase this, erase this field and keep this field empty. Okay, so when you keep this field empty, no existing media files will be featured on your post. And to add the image that you have searched from pixels inside your, uh, inside the content of your post, you have to provide a HTML tag here for adding an image here inside this post content uh, field. So for that, you just have to click here and let me just, uh, let me just uh, erase this. And first, let me attach the uh, HTML tag for adding an image. So you have to provide an angle bracket, then you have to type IMG space SRC, then equals to, then you have to uh, provide the quotation marks, then close this angle bracket. And between these quotation marks, just click here in between the quotations. And from this pixel step, map this uh, image URL label, this original SRC label, which have the extension of the image as .jpg or .png. Map this SRC original label here. Okay. Then uh, after this angle bracket, just click here and now put an enter. And now I'm going to map the content snippet label like this. Okay. So an image will be attached along with this content, right? Now guys, you can scroll back here and you can use all these details. Right now I'm leaving these things. And now you can check your connection with WordPress by clicking on save and send test request and a new post will be created from your account. Let me show you. I have clicked on save and send test request button and a new post will be created and will be saved inside the drafts of the post section. And here you can see we got a post created and here we got the links of the post. So you can see the link here and let me open this link for you to show you how the post is created in a WordPress website. So here your post will show up like this. The title is here, the image is here and the content is here. So this is how the po uh, posts are going to be created automatically in your WordPress. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow. After that, whenever there is a new post in the RSS section of any website, the same post, the, the same co content that you have in the post will be created as a post inside WordPress with a photo, with an image searched from pexels.com. Okay. So guys, you can use this workflow as well. And I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.